Have you ever wanted more storage in your bedroom? I wanted to make a modern, simple designed bed that had a big giant drawer underneath that we could put shoes, jackets, linens, or in our case, a couple dog beds. Let's get into the build. Before we start, make sure you follow me on all other platforms, including Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever you're on, make sure you follow Mullen the Maker. If you have any questions, shoot them down below in the comment section. And if you want to check out my website for a bunch of free plans and other plans for other builds, make sure you go to MullenTheMaker.com. So I started out by milling all the hickory. I jointed it, planed it to size. I milled it completely out so it was actually workable and I could start gluing up these panels. Now for these panels, you actually don't need to use solid hardwood. You can use plywood or veneered MDF. Um, either or, uh, but I decided because I, I got such a great deal on all this hickory that I'm just going to glue up all the panels and the whole thing's going to be hardwood. Now after milling out all the lumber, it was time to glue up the legs. I laminated two pieces of hickory together to get the thickness I wanted, which was an inch and a half, and they were five inches wide. They're about five and a half feet tall. It was a taller headboard, and it ended up being really nice height. I glued them up, let them sit overnight, and then finished cutting them exactly to size. After the legs, it was time to glue up the panel for the headboard. I used some biscuits to make sure they were all aligned properly. Um, some tight bond three glue and clamped it all together. So I leave all my pieces a little long, so after it's glued up, I actually square it up with a circular saw. If you have a track saw, that'd work even better. But I just have a circular saw and a little jig. So I set up the jig and I cut off the end to make sure that it was perfectly square on both sides. Now it's time for Sandy, which is probably everybody's least favorite part. But uh, I went through and made sure it was completely flat. I sanded it all the way to 120. Um, started with 80, went up to 120, and just left it there for now. After sanding, it was time to use a dowel jig to join the legs to the panel for the headboard. Now, like I said earlier, as I'm building this, this is an overview of the process. It's not a completely detailed, detailed step-by-step -step because I do have the plans available. So if you, if you get the plans plus this video, it makes it really easy to follow along and build the entire thing. Once the dowels were in and the glue is set, I clamped it all together and let it sit overnight. Next, I moved on to the side panels. Now these side panels will go all the way to the ground to about 20 inches tall. Since they're such long panels, I used biscuits again, used three biscuits and uh, glued them all up. Now afterwards, instead of using my circular saw because I was being lazy, I used my uh, cruiser miter saw. Now that miter saw is square, I absolutely love it, but that panel is super heavy and it probably shouldn't have done that. This is something that I would consider a mistake, not that it messed up the build because it didn't, but I should have just used the circular saw. I was being very lazy at that point, but it worked out in the end. 
Once the two panels were glued up, I went through and filled in all the knots, any cracks or anything like that. Hickory is it, it's known to you know have little uh, cracks throughout it. So I filled it in with some sawdust and glue, sanded it down while the glue was still wet, and it fills them in perfectly. You can't even tell they're there. Now it's time to attach the support that the box spring will be sitting on. So I just used a two by two dug fur. I used some pilot holes and I just attached it after marking it with my square. I did that to both panels, made sure that they were perfectly the same height because if they're not the same height, you're gonna have trouble. I started out with the legs. I laminated three three quarter inch uh, pieces of hickory together for these legs. Like I said, you could buy just bigger stock of hickory, whether it's eight quarter or more than that, 10 quarter, whatever you want. But I got such a good deal on this hickory, I just figured laminate them is gonna work just fine. And I've done this in the past, it's worked great. Once they're all cut to size, I took them over to my Rockler router table and put a chamfered edge on the front two uh, corners. Once that was done, it's time to use my dowel jig once again and attach the panel that I made to the legs. So I use my Delta drill press to bore out the holes and then I use my dowel jig on the panel to make sure that I uh, drilled out in the exact location I needed to. I used some tight bond glue again and some dowels, clamped it up and it worked perfect. I let that sit overnight and it was time to apply the finish. This is one of my favorite finishes to use. It's Armor Seal by General Finishes. It goes on very easy. You only actually have to sand up to 160 or 180 um, and apply it because you want that oil to actually absorb into the pores of the wood. So you just lather it on with a rag. It's very easy to do. And then once you lather on with a rag, I go back and I take a paper towel and wipe off any excess that hasn't dried in within like the first five minutes or so. Now, I absolutely love the look of it. I know in the video, it looks probably a little orangey. It looks a lot more orange than in real life, but I love the natural look of the hickory. Plus it's going against a dark navy blue wall. So it's gonna look really, really nice. So I applied two or three coats to each side. I made sure that the headboard had a little bit more. I actually think I did four coats, but between each coat, I take a 300 grit sandpaper and just lightly sand um, across it before I apply that next coat. Um, and it works really nice. It gives it a really, really nice finish. Uh, really good to touch. It's glossy, but it's not too shiny. It doesn't look like epoxy or anything like that. I absolutely love this finish. Next, it was time to make what the box springs will sit on. So basically the supports, um, you can use pine. It'd probably be the easiest, to be honest with you. If you want to go through and put um, three quarter inch pine, but you'd have to buy a ton of them, probably 20 different one by four pieces of pine and cut them to size and just drill them in. You could totally do that. And then every so often have a support under each one. That'd be perfectly fine. What I decided to do was to grab um, some flat iron. I had three inch flat iron or flat bar or whatever you call it. Um, I cut it down to size. 
um, and I just drilled it in with some ports. All I needed was four of them, and that box spring is set on very strong, it's very sturdy, and it works just fine, and it was a lot cheaper. After that was cut, I go through and I start putting it together. Now I use this hardware from Rockler. This thing is amazing. Now these are basically bed hooks that you don't actually have to bore out a mortise and tenon to apply them. They're fantastic, you just use some screws, they work great, and they are so solid. But for this one, I used eight of them. So you need two packs of these, and I believe they run about 15 bucks. So to me, it's worth it, because the time saving on it is incredible, and uh, I absolutely love them. I can't say much more about it, they're just great. So the last thing to do now that the bed was together is make the drawer underneath. Now I had a piece of plywood, so I cut the plywood to size, and then I started marking off basically a gap that the middle support for one of the uh, flat iron bars, that middle support will actually keep the drawer on track. That's gonna be the stop so it doesn't come out too far and it doesn't go in too far either. It's gonna be really easy to just push in and out and you know it's, you don't have to keep adjusting it like crazy. So I marked it off with my square, and then I went to my table saw and just lined it up, cut two different lines on where I marked, and then I finished it off with a jigsaw. After that gap was complete, it was time to add the one by fours. Now I, I used one by fours across the end because I wanted the dog beds to stay in place. Now I, I measured where the dog, how big the dog beds would be, and I went smaller than what the dog beds are. So they're kind of squeezed in, um, and that they're not just loose, kind of moving around. I had a countersink bit, I drilled that out, put in the screws, really easy to do. It's not complicated at all. You can follow the plans if you're interested. After adding the one by fours, it's time to add the wheels. I used eight of these little casters. The casters hold 40 pounds, and I put eight of them on, so I knew that even with my dogs in it, I could it's not gonna break or anything. Um, and they, they work really well. Uh, they were cheap, I think they're $2 each at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. Now it's time to put that drawer underneath the bed. As you can see here, I'm adding that support in between the cutout, that little gap that I left in the plywood. I attached it to the two rails on the side panels, and now that drawer is perfectly in place and it's not gonna get all crooked or anything like that. It is perfectly right where I want it. Next, I added a hickory face. Now this hickory piece of wood, instead of adding drawer poles to it, we actually just, I cut a gap at the top. Now that gap will just make it look a little less like a drawer, because it's not as noticeable as some drawer poles. And that's pretty much it. I added the dog beds, and I put in the mattresses, the box ring, the mattresses. Try to stage it best I can, which my wife is way better at than me. And this is the final result. Now it's a very simple build. What do you guys think? Uh, would you change the stain or would you change the type of wood? Would you just use plywood just to make it way more simple? Um, what, what, just leave your comment below. Let me know what you think. I appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more projects coming out. If you wanna see other plans, I have a lot of free plans on my website at moleinthemaker.com. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time.